up everybody? It's a beautiful winter snowy morning here in western Pennsylvania. We got about an inch of snow this morning. Really pretty today. Wanted to do a video and show you what's going on in the garage here. A little project we're working on. Picked this up a couple weeks ago. Here it is. We have a 1984 Yamaha 225 DX three-wheeler. This three-wheeler came from Angola, New York. It was in a barn. It had kind of been forgotten about by the owner. It needed to make some space, uh, so he listed it for sale. Uh, it also came with uh, this Honda ATC 185S. Uh, we'll do a little, give you a little bit more information on that in a future video. Um, so for now, back to the back to the Yamaha here. Um, this is 225 cc, uh, does not have reverse. Um, it was in pretty rough shape when I picked it up. We've made some progress on it. I'll give you a little update here on, on the project. Uh, so uh, after we got it home and unloaded, it was in pretty rough shape. First thing needed to happen was it needed, it needed a good cleaning. So uh, we, we pressure washed it and tried to get as much of the gunk and mud and grime off of it as possible so we, we could get to work. Uh, next step was to try and get it running. Uh, so of course you need air, fuel, and spark for that to happen. So the first thing was to remove this fuel tank here and get that drained and uh, rinsed out. Uh, filled up with some good, fresh, ethanol-free fuel. Um, the ethanol can just uh, really tear things up, especially in these, these older machines that just were not built to run it. Uh, so we, we pulled the tank, got that all drained, filled up with fresh fuel. And the next step for the fuel system uh, was to replace the fuel line. So come around here. Here's the fuel line. Runs from the petcock on the gas tank, the carburetor underneath there. Uh, it's a little bit tough to see the carburetor. This plastic is kind of in the way. Um, but once we got that fuel line replaced, pulled the carburetor off, completely disassembled that and thoroughly cleaned it. Um, it was in pretty rough shape, a lot of varnish and grime in there. Uh, pulled out all the jets, made sure they were sprayed out and, and uh, flowing freely. Uh, these, these Yamahas have a pretty nice carburetor on them. Um, they have a Makuni carburetor uh, right from the factory on them. Being it's a little tough to see with this completely assembled and the plastics on, I'm going to show you here a carburetor off of uh, a, a different 225DX. So you can see there, Makuni Corporation. Um, these, these are pretty nice, uh, pretty reliable, easy to work on. So after the carb was all straightened around. It's time to make sure we had some spark. Um, so we headed over here, pulled the, pulled the spark plug out, uh, which was very loose. And uh, it was, a, I believe, a champion spark plug in there. So we, we replaced that spark plug um, with a good NGK spark plug. and uh, got some good spark there. So um, these actually have electric start on them, which was really great to work on this and get it, get it started for the first time. Uh, so I, I pulled a battery out of a different machine and, and we were able to use that electric start to, to check for spark and, and get things running. So the, the third component to get in the machine running, right, is uh, air supply and uh, uh, access to the air box on these is uh, in the back here, underneath the tail light. It's this, uh, this door right here. It just has four, well it's supposed to have four Phillips head screws in it. This one only has three, but that's okay. Uh, that was actually plugged full with a, with a mouse nest. The air cleaner was completely deteriorated. Uh, just uh, completely crumbled. Uh, so we, we got that dumped out and got that all shop vac out and it's good and clean now. 
The other thing that we did on this Yamaha is uh, some detail work here on the plastics. Now, take a look at these plastics. They are far from great, um, but I will say they are much better than they were when it first came home. Uh, we'll throw some still pictures up for you so you can get a little better idea what was going on with the plastics uh, when we first got the trike home. This fender here, as you can see, was pretty smashed. So uh, what I did here was stitch this all back together best I could uh, using zip ties. If you take a look at this crack for an example, crack starts here, runs this way. Uh, I drilled a hole at the end of the crack so it doesn't continue to run into the plastic. Uh, and then drilled a hole on each side of the crack and uh, tightly secured it with, with zip ties. Um, this is pretty tedious work, um, but it's kind of fun. You really can see some the, the progress and uh, get some of that uh, instant gratification as, as your work starts to come together. And th this is a pretty serious, serious crack here. Um, really smashed out. Uh, this this area here you can tell is a patch uh, there, there was just not any material left there to to stitch it had been broken away and, and lost so uh, what, what I did here uh, this this came with with a few extra pieces from a, a YTM 200 uh, one of those pieces was uh, uh, one of these plastic tank fairings uh, so I used that as a donor piece. It, it had some, some issues. Uh, it, it wasn't gonna be a, a great part to use. It actually looked like a dog had chewed on a little bit. So I went ahead and sacrificed that part uh, to, to build this patch. And uh, you can see here, there is some contour to it. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, but I used a heat gun to bend this, uh, heat it up and then kind of bend it to, to form to this, to this contour. So, um, for the price I paid for this, it's 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 a this was a pretty cheap, inexpensive fix, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this three wheeler yet. Um, I have some some things left to do on it. I'm trying to keep this within a budget. Um, I, I may keep this as as a rider. These make awesome trail three wheelers, uh, or I may resell it uh, and and uh, kind of resell it and, and trade up for, for, for uh, something a little bit nicer. So uh, if you have any opinions on whether I should keep it or sell it, uh, leave me a comment. Love to hear from you. So some more work on the plastics uh, after, after getting them stitched together here. Um, what I did was I, I took an SOS pad and, and some soapy water to try to get some of this, some of this dirt that was just really embedded into these fenders. They, 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 these fenders degrade over time and they, they almost become porous. And uh, you, you can see how it's, it's, it's kind of rough. And um, so we, 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 we took uh, some, an SOS pad with soapy water and went over it to try with some uh, Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner to try to lift out some of that some of that grime, which uh, I, I know it's definitely not perfect, but uh, if you take a look at the original pictures, it, it is a lot better than it was. Also took some uh, fine grit sandpaper, again with the water, and, and sanded them. Um, and, then, and then I lightly hit them with a, with a heat gun, and that brought some of the color back. And, and there are some areas here you can see that, that are faded, but before I, I did the work on this, uh, they, they were really faded out and uh, pretty pretty bad looking so um, this is far from perfect uh, but it does look a, a lot better than it did before so after after i got the plastics kind of uh, back to to where i wanted them i used a couple different products on them um, one product that i really like to use on on faded plastic uh, is this uh, mother's back to black trim and plastic restore Obviously this isn't black, but this works really well uh, to kind of rejuvenate your plastics. And then for maintenance, I like to use 
303 aerospace protectant. Uh, this provides you some UV protection and it will also help protect and rejuvenate your plastics. This doesn't give it that ultra glossy look. It's more of like a semi-gloss look, uh, which I prefer. Um, I don't like that real, real glossy, wet look. I just like a nice, nice, clean, um, lighter, lighter gloss. So, um, so that's where we are on this uh, three-wheeler. Stay tuned for some more updates on the Yamaha 225DX, and hopefully we'll go for a ride soon. Thanks for watching. If you could click like and subscribe, it would really mean a lot.